What's up, everybody? This is the Poker Coaching Study Session, and today we're going to be looking at short stack strategy. Wonderful, right? Let's open this. And I board should be pretty good for us. I think we should bet. Mm, I like betting here, I think. Do, yeah. Do we size up a bit because of the 10-8? No. I don't think you need to at 20 big blinds, Joey. First, I don't think I ever size up just because of 10 and an 8. These are not. For me, Joey, you need a flush draw. Rainbow boards, usually you don't really size up. Then you need like queen 10 here. To think about it. And at this depth, I doubt there's going to be a lot of big betting without like a top pair or jacks here. Do we have a big bet here? Let's guess that. I mean, like jacks, jacks? queens, ace 10, maybe, but yeah. like. Do they even bid bet? So they for may go like half pot or something. I think this is a bet small because it's a 10 eye board, right? And we can double barrel on a lot of turns. So, yeah. And he folds a better race. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And then let's look at the rage on the flop. Not really any big bets, just because of stack depth. We just use small sizes. Okay, what about this one? Um, queen tends to wide. Queen jack offsuit is kind of an interesting question, though. King jack. What do you do with king jack, queen jack, ace, ten off? I think I might be shoving queen jack. Queen jack, I'm not shoving into another gun here. Suited? Sure. Offsuit? Nah. You don't want to be jamming the offsuit ones. I think, like, even you'll probably be flatting king jack, king queen off, all your offsuit stuff. I, I think this is too wide. I think queen jack is going to have slivers of calls. Let's have a look. So, king queen flats, king jack flats, ace ten off flats. Yeah. And queen, as you said, queen jack off mixing. That's you could it. shove all the queen 10 and jack 10 into queen jack off and simplify it, call it all the time. And then the suited ones are the ones I want to play. And then we could we could play this, I think. There we no. go. There we go. Let's get it. All right. Now look what you got us into. Let's get it. It's easy to play, though. Check that call. <laughs> You're not going to do anything else. Easy. He's gonna barrel a lot here. Oh, he doesn't. You can block, I think. Yeah. You can maybe go three, three or something. Max value five. Uh, do you? Queen. I don't think you. I it's a good queen. It's a good queen. But really I mean, what, what are you? Uh, what it's are, a good what are you queen targeting? and it's really cap. If we did, if we didn't have the spade, well, no. I was. I'm not a fan of show. going five. I don't think. I, I mean, like, what's he calling you with? Worst queen? You're chopping with all the other worst How queens. many? He doesn't have many worst queens. And he, yeah, and that's the other thing. Like he has queen, queen nine suited. Pocket that's seven? It, yeah. Does he call with pocket seven every blue moon? Not verse five. Maybe verse three or one, he would. Three is the that's easy it. one, right? That's safety. But you need to push the boundaries a little bit to press this it. Might even, this no. might even be a check. There's not that many hands that are going to call. Before I think this is the way mandatory block bet. I don't think it's a one. I think it's more a three or a five. Yeah, if I'm blocking here, I'm going three. Yeah, I'm okay. not going five. Ah, There's next. It's a mandatory block bet. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> no, it, what changed my mind at the last second is not much worse calls. Yeah. He only has queen nine suited. Well, you're also targeting his ace highs. I mean, if you bet small, he's going to call you with ace highs sometimes. It's, yeah, that, uh, it's probably easier to get the solver to bluff than it is to get the solver to call here. 
He wants to bet his bricked 10 jack, which we block. He wants to bet his bricked spade, probably, which we block. He doesn't want to have a heart. We don't, but the queen doesn't matter. Good, good, good. All right. Check it and check call. Yeah. Um, maybe like a low frequency jam or something. But I call here a lot, I think. I just call. The other way around. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it is the other way around. Tommy. All right, so before you go too far, what do you think your other suited aces are doing in that spot? Uh, I think ace five or ace four plays the same. Okay. I, I, I would it. probably agree. I think um, a lot of flap, like the good ones. I think so too. What do you do I, I with a so. six and a seven? That's the real question because these are the bad ones, right? A six, I think you just. Seven? I think you just flat those probably. I think the bad ones are going to flat. Am I wrong to fold a six suited, a seven suited? I I always say that's too nitty. Not. Oh, you're in the small blind. I would say it's too nitty. I thought we were on the button. No, no, no. Um, it was small. Oh no, no, it's the left hand. Yeah. Okay. I play all of them. I yeah. thought the sevens, eights, and nines would be more calls, and the bluffs would be from the wheels. I mean, it's it's kind of whatever. It's from the hijack. Like if you made it the cutoff or the low jack, it would shift around a little bit. It's it's just interacting with blockers. I think. The EV is going to be similar between calls and jams. I think you yeah. just really need to make a judgment in game. Is the guy nitty? Well, All right. Well. So a hand like this, I have been doing a lot of calling with, especially on the button lately. Like this is, I would say <laughs> if I'm expanding my range, this is where I've been expanding it lately. Really? Yeah, same with me. I've been playing with that as well. So even King Eight Suited is a little bit short here. Mm -hmm. So you know, well, I mean, it's because maybe it's tagged it, up. I'm sure at thirty, it's more of a thing, right? It's probably more of a thing. That's and you know, it's like if Phil Ivy was opening, I might consider folding. Thirty, thirty-five. Yeah, the deeper you are, the more it becomes a thing. You you add the suited connectors, the suited one gapper. More suited kings, so yeah, it makes sense. But here, too short. Need king nine. Continue. All. Snap. Check. You know, I block here sometimes. Like I would bet small or half pot to check back the river. Yeah, this will get us. This could get us a cheap showdown if we go um, here. Checking's not bad though, obviously. I mean, checking's a pretty reasonably like it's a pretty reasonable answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think check's gonna be this special here. I think within eight, I'd prefer to bet like three. Right. So all right. Checking's okay. the uh, yeah. Oh, easy, easy, easy life. Just, call. just call it call that. Raise to seven. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that's a bad that raise. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right, what do you nits want to do here? I fold off, this off twenty man under the gun. I do fold this. I think. Okay, so you open King Jack. Yeah, I would. Open King. Yeah. I would open king check. Even this opens a smidge. We're in the slivers. 
Yeah, I don't I don't even know if King Jack is full. King Jack might be like 80 20. <clears throat> so low I, I know under the gun it's ace 10. I know under the gun one it's like ace nine. So I know this is gonna be very close. I'll say like, Majority just, fold, slivers yeah, of call, raise. I, I mean, pulled this. I think yeah, they say going to sliver and raise. Two, two EP, two raise. I think it's ace nine here. Yeah, with some with some ace eight. Oh. Oh, ace All eight ten. fall. So oh, now from the hijack. We oh. were low jack previous hand, by the way. Yes. Oh, we were, were we was, looking at a hijack? That was that yeah. was a hijack range, Scott. Oh, that explains it. Yeah, low jack. It, it's the, at the low look at the low jack range there. You're, you're probably right. We had it twice. A six, a seven. One was the low jack, one was the hijack. Okay. Mm -hmm. I um I'm definitely gonna continue here. It's just a um I, I don't know if we want to raise off tw when we're 20. I think call is the obvious answer, right? Yeah, we don't really treat that bluff, right? It's equity-driven yeah. stuff. Like, you want to just take, like, your, your strong-suited yeah. broadways. Yeah, you don't use bullets in life. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could call some of these suited wheels, like, a bluff sometimes. Yeah, but you're pushing. Yeah, you are. Call. You have I see, no reason. I see no reason to raise here. No raising range. His value is beating you, and his bluffs are just going to fold. So, like, okay. I'm calling down contently. Oh. Yeah, we call all the way down here. Pray for ace 10. <laughs> 10 8. All right. What about this one? Um, this is this is gonna be I think Jack 8 is just a smidge too bad. Yeah, it's gonna be a fold. I, I say that, but maybe not because 10 8 almost opens I think from every Jack position. Eight, I think Jack 8 or Jack 9 is in there. Jack 9 is in there, not Jack 8. I, I would agree. We're 20 big blinds, so it's going to be a little tighter. Yeah. So, Jack 9, mm, Queen but, 8. I don't have enough but, Queen 8. Maybe not enough 10 8. I have 10 I 8 know. my deeper start, but at this depth. Mm -hmm. Off suit 1, let's look at the East 9 off. Not sure many people raise that King 10 suit offer. No, I don't. No, and I'm not. I'm not worried about missing the point zero zero one equity that gains. And I, and I see that that's not true, Joey. That's point zero zero one versus Phil Ivy or Nick Petrangelo. That's not who you're playing. And every little bit counts there. Oh. Okay. So what do you do here with Ace Ten Off? And Ace King Jack. Um, I think you just flat those to be honest. Yeah, flat. Yeah. Okay. And this one, you can fold versus UTG. I oh. think. Can we call sometimes? I don't know. Um, I'm making mistakes if it is calling because I'm never calling. <laughs> okay, no low frequency calls. I th you should look at Ace Ten though, and uh, King Jack. Oh, I know, I know they're both calls. We saw it. I just don't remember if they're ever three betting. Was my my thought? Not real. Well, is that the right range? Or are we big blind? No, 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 no. We were small blind. Ace Ten, a little bit of raising King Jack, just the, just the call. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but I thought. 
these slivers. There was a. You gotta find those slivers, man. You have to. All right, let's fold this. Seven, six. Hmm. I think this becomes an overcall the closer you get to the button. Um, under the gun versus slow jack is not going to be continuing. I think at this stack yeah, depth, you, you don't even play from the button. So, like, what do you think if, let's say, but or let's say the cutoff or the hijack opens, what do you think the button's going to do with seven, six? Mm, fold. I don't know. I'm not so confident. 20 Maybe. bit lines, man. You need high. Oh, I, I, I understand, but I'm not so confident if ranges are that wide. I look at it. I well, look at it. Look at it. Extremely tough. <laughs> I think he wants you to look at it. What is he trying to do with this? Seven no, he, he said open from the uh, high uh, 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 no. Yeah, thank you, Joey. Thank you, Joey. Thank you. There's nothing here. Uh huh. Uh huh. It disappears, man. You have to uh -huh. get over it. You don't play small cards with the 20 big blinds. You just play. Uh -huh. Wait, uh -huh. except for 50% of the time when you do. I'm giving you an air high five right now, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> do you open them, though? Uh, I'm like cut off her button, probably. Yeah, seems fine. I agree. It's like marginal, but yeah. How about Especially like in, if your opponents aren't three betting enough, then it's only better. Yeah. Open. Fold. What a what a jerk. Um, completely uncalled for. Fold. Sure, we fold here, but what fold. do you call with? That's a good question, Louis. What's the worst hands that you call with? King, queen, offsuit is a question in my mind. Oh, easy. That's too easy. I I'm more thinking about, I don't know, ace, ten, ace uh, nine suited. No, ace, I think ten suited. King, jack suited is a theory call off, right? No. King, jack suited is an interesting question. Not ace, even close. Jack. In, the, in the mark. Off. I you think it's a theory call. Jesus. What's worst. King, I don't hate it, off, King Queen off. Worst pair. What's the worst pair? Sevens. Oh, pair is uh, all sevens. If you open it, if you open it, uh, it's going. You know, yeah, maybe more like fives. Pair. Maybe you can fold just say, a couple think, garbage pairs. I think fives is where I was too. Yeah, but you got to call a lot of pairs, at least in theory. Yeah, but you know, like some backing stable, they suggest like you should fold sevens and eights here. Yeah. I mean, I believe that is nice point. King 10 is our bottom. I mean, and this is pretty close to the bottom for the Kings. All right, let's take a look. I'm not I think King... All right, so looky there. King, oh queen, my off. God. Dialed, dialed the F in. King, jack suited. Fives. King, queen, off. King, nine. <laughs> I think every question I had is like got some mixed frequency. After. Zero, I said it. I'm yeah, Louis, but I didn't say it was printing. I was trying to produce the theory range. Yeah, hey, I, didn't, I didn't say like I'm ecstatic and I'm I'm beating him into the you know pot with my chips, but you know, just building yeah. the theory okay, range. So so can... Ace nine, who said ace nine? It was you, right? Galen. Yeah, it was yeah. the zero with her ace nine. Ace jack off. Yay. Ace Finger. Ten off was tough for me. Ace ten off yeah. full. Yeah. King so many, many, many backing school right now, they, they say we should like uh, fold here. Like, we need more context, Louis. You can't just say that. We're just playing 20 big blinds. I know. GPV. Is I that know. what they said specifically? They I said, know. hey, Louis, 20 big blinds, Chip EV. We need to fold the bottom versus the jam from the cutoff. Kind of. They never did. So far, the champs with like A6, not with the suited broadways. And if they don't have the suited broadways, those small pocket pairs are losing. Yep, All I'm exactly. saying, like the, the guys from the river stable, like Mo and, and Joe, they both don't call off here with these low ones. You just named the two of the nittiest players that we know. Yeah. <laughs> but... No, the nittiest player I know is you. I am offended. Right? So. 
No, I have to say I think I'm more nittier than Galen. Maybe. I don't know, Joey. That's that's a big ask, man. Joey, you almost had one. You guys yeah, Louis have... just like without not even thinking about raising Queen Ten off there. That's like that's dicey for me. Two I'm, five I'm not cards. Really... What do you mean? We have a short stack. We have two light cards. We make it ten. We're just gonna party. Yeah, I think I punted that last hand last night. Oh, did you? You want to share it after? Let's raise. Ten for off. Let's, yeah. Let's this raise. Is, uh, is this a raise? It's going to V-pip for sure. It's definitely V-pipping. You guys are serious here. It might just limp you... fold, though. It might Come just limp on. fold to aggression. Is it Maybe. not too junky? I'm raising the offsuit fives here. I think you're right. I, I, I do think you're right, Louis. I think the line is between fours and fives, but yeah. limp I, fold? Not, not, not right to fold. Right to say that the line's at fours and fives. You if I remember right, uh, under your um, yeah. under your min raising range, you have another small range of limp folds. Yeah, like okay. ones that aren't even good enough to okay. raise, but you just okay. throw half a blind in, see if you can hit, okay. and just give up if you face any aggression. All right, so let's let's limp it, see how it goes. Yeah, I have the oh. hand ready now. This right. is a fold. Whenever you want to look at that hand, I have it ready. Sure. What's our um? I don't remember my twenty ranges this early. What's our uh worst suited king? Is this it? It's tough, Tim. I don't know. I uh, I'm very tempted to open this though. <laughs> yeah. I... King eight. All right. King seven's mixing. That's great. Amazing, honestly. Yeah, I'm probably raising that in practice, but that's fine. You gotta let this one go. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Jack eight, just get out of the way. You can open this. No? Yeah. It's okay. like stone bottom, right? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, that's the very bottom. Yeah, they got me. Bottom. They got me. They said pocket deuce never lose. They lie. And then the, what about five? Pocket, pocket five, always alive. <laughs> nice. Raise. What? You Under the gun this? one. I think you can raise this. You can, right? Sliver. I think so. Sliver. Yeah. I think in I practice mean, I'm raising ace 10 off there. I don't think I actually raise ace 9 off. Okay, finally something pulls flat. Good. All so, right, I'm a, I will see about this. You will. So is this spot only v small blind that we're playing or have we just seen a couple no we've just seen a couple small blind hands i think it's a verse everything I yeah think. Versus I, don't everything. Know really. I don't know so like small blinds the thing with small blind has like a pretty good range here and so i don't think we have super high c-bet frequencies why is this... everyone here in this room scared of the small blind i give the small blind a closer. lot of so respect like, so i want to use I like a more i don't want to use like a like a range betting what? strategy i want to like use a slightly more polarized strategy i want to bet what are you gonna do wanna... if you don't range back um check back hands with showdown value do you check back the ssb no i'd be range bet here you're under the gun plus one it's great See, i'm always range betting. So, like this is the only hand that doesn't connect with it like yeah, name is, another I think with the aces played, we have. I mean, we raise like we raise hands like eight seven. We raise hands like pocket sevens. We raise hands like, yeah, we raise hands like ace seven of clubs. We have hands that don't connect is, here. Everything is betting small. Yeah, and he has those too. He just yeah. I think I think betting small is fair. fine. I think betting small is fine. I just think he's rather condensed around a lot of hands with showdown value, and we check thirty three percent. Can we look at our um, strategy on this flop? Play? Maybe we're betting sixty percent across range. Okay, we bet that. Oh, pretty, pretty, out. pretty close. Oof. Pretty close. It is pretty polarized, Tim. Oh, oh, you're right. Like it's it's mixing pretty hard. Look at the hard. Okay. Oh, look at this. Screw you guys. You see the 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 yellow here? Look at that red. The red. You want to see the red? I don't. Know. I'm, I, let's look at the yellow. So if there's an ace, lot of small bets. Okay, so if it's like ace with the Broadway, you see it ties up a little bit. 
It looks like a slow low is going to be pretty range, Betty. And then when you start getting like two broadways, you it starts to pol it polarizes a little more, right? This king three, you bet bigger, you check. Oh, it's 50 50 on this type of texture. What about ace queen? 50 50 on ace queen. So two I just think broadway, we have an, like an, an exploit that we don't even realize is an exploit that the opponents in our games call the small blind like they're calling the big blind and they have garbage ranges. But the theory range is quite, is quite protected there it's quite merged it's very broadway heavy and he just has like a lot of hands that can continue here he has a lot of king 10 he has like queen jack he just has like decent hands in theory um all right so the impression my opponents are defending small blind like they yeah like yeah well that was my okay i was going to pose a question okay verse ep opens do you think your typical opponent is defending small blind at gto frequencies or do you think they're missing flats and defense like queen eight suited for instance i feel like the big blind's pretty easy closing the action like yeah right people people call kind of correctly i think people maybe miss stuff from the small blind but i mean that i could be completely off base there yeah i think so as well i mean yeah i think they're missing some of the other like king x queen x jack x maybe they're even more weighted towards like suited aces mm -hmm. and pairs okay so it's like condensed towards like hands that you know the middling hands is kind of what i think like the jack 10 queen tens of the world maybe like stuff like that so okay. i'm kind of like in your camp where it's like you want to use a polarized strategy like you know check a lot bet a lot kind of thing I don't know. It'd be worth the node lock, I think, at some point. That'd be interesting. I'm on it. Uh, for here, I want to know what's your calling range. What in here? Versus small yeah, the, jam. Pos the positions. Whenever it's gonna look kind of similar to the one we saw before. Earlier, we saw hijack versus cutoff, right? Yeah. They were jamming in position, though. Is the only difference? Yeah, um, but it's gonna be huge. broadly similar. Yeah, so one num one of the key things you want to look at when you're looking at calling jams, there's like a few key factors, but like the size of the jam and the positions involved, like that, these are pretty big, right? So the floor, I'm going to say King Jack suited, probably theory call. Never. Um, King, King Queen suited, I think is an easy call. I give you a yep. zero for King Jack suited. We'll say, um, I'm judging you. Zero. Ace, ace 10 is going to be a, okay. a theory call. Let maybe. me ask you about ace nine here. Ace Should nine it? off or off, off. You can let ace nine off go. Can you? I think. I think. I do not think so. Okay, wait. Let me just, just round ourselves against our, like, that hijack versus cutoff range we saw earlier. Um, small blind is a little bit wider, right? We're going to call just a little wider. A little bit, yeah. The hands yeah. that the in position player would be flatting, or they're incentivized to flat, some of those get like merged into like a jam, I think. Yeah. It's going to be a tricky one, I think. So I, I think small blind is jamming a little more aggressively than, let's say, the button or the cutoff, whatever we were facing. Right. I agree. Um, I think we're going to be calling down to like sixes, you know, maybe sixes. Yeah, I like sixes. All pairs. Maybe a smidge of fives. I don't know. Let's look at it. Every pair. And then ace nine off, I'm calling. Who's calling? Yeah, I was going to say ace nine off, I'm calling. Punters. What about suited ones? Don't be so nitty. What do you do with a eight suited? Fold. Fold. a eight suited, clear fold for you guys? a nine suited? I'm, I'm Ten suited it. call. Ace nine suited, the, the water is muddy. Okay, like, I feel like it's close. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about the ace nine off either. That, that feels too low. I'm, I'm ace nine off. Oh, my goodness. I'm off. Hey, look at that. Ace ten, ace nine I... suited. Pocket fives, King Jack suited. I give you I zero. Got a, I, I got a zero, zero for that. 
Zero. Look at this king. Look at this king queen offsuit. Look at that king queen offsuit in there. Yeah, zero, dude. You're getting zero if you said that. But it's zero with this liver, you know. Look at the jump between the ace nine suited and the ace ten suited and the ace ten and off and the ace. Well, look at this. Not all pairs. Oh, it's actually fold fours. <laughs> Because I was folding ace ten off and ace nine suited. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I think that's fine. But, but look at how much you're like. But it's it's, sure. it's a big gap. Yeah, because of positions. Yeah, right. any game I'd still fold fives and sixes. I think that's a good adjustment. That I'm not doing enough. I need to look at my database. Easy defend. Just call. Just call. Just call. Hi guys. Good morning. How are you? Okay. Okay. Check check the six on the turn. Can we leave? I am. Um. I am playing this texture pretty aggressively. Usually, like I, I kind of like betting two point seven five or four one. Four I don't one's think a with bit this hand though. We want we want a more polarized range that has yeah. value buffs. This Jinky. hand is more kind of like middle of our range. Yeah, but, you're right. Would, Tim. It, would, it, would it take more like a five, or is it because of the nine high? No, no. It's I, think, I, I was just thinking that a five or a four this. might have been better. Six is great. Six. I is think it's great. just we just have, have a Broadway card. card uh, mm. Yeah, the Broadway cards are just blocking folds, right? Like mm. you, you don't want to have Broadways here. Yeah. Yep. You, you bet everything, but not the Broadways. Yep. In game, I'm not that selective. I probably, if you are going to bet this one, you want to bet it with a spade, right? Yeah, that would be more attractive. And the ace wasn't a good card for us. Yeah, definitely. I'm over checking the spot. That's crazy to know. Check, give up. Go, Just think about face. how much, like, how much they cap themselves and they check back flop. Like, they just rarely have much. Yeah, yeah the guy's going to have, like, king 10 of diamonds and stuff like that that just can't continue. Whenever and you want to get him to fold queen high, king high, and some a-size. Whenever low, lowish to middle low straight comes in on the turn, we can bet a lot. Yep. Uh, fold this river. This hand doesn't have anything attractive to call with. Yeah. That's fine. We lost the minimum. I mean, yeah, raise, raise this from the cutoff. I, I yeah, am. It's close. I think yeah, I would woo. do it. It's not printing, but it's a raise. Woo. I think, I think from late position we can expand a little bit too against population. Oh my oh, yeah, goodness! Definitely. Oh my goodness! Well, All right. So now I want to know what you do with a eight offsuit here and fold. Oh, I, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so like ace eight offsuit, I actually might. I would be more inclined to call versus a big blind jam, just because the hands that are jamming from the big blind, ace eight offsuit is going to have a lot of those dominated. Like he he's jamming worse ace x here, a reasonable amount of the time. He's jamming bad pairs. Yeah, I call ace ten. Ace like ace nine offsuit. I think it's just like a slam dunk call here. Yeah, ace nine snap. Ace eight. Yeah. I. Yeah. I'm thinking ace ace nine might be kind of muddy, like mess. I'm not nine. sure. But... All right, and then suited ones, ace seven suited, ace eight suited, uh, ace seven I suited. Call... Dude, I would not be surprised if it wants to call ace five suited, but I, I'm just not calling that wide. Oh. I was yeah. gonna say ace seven suited. Oh. Have a peek. Yeah, I I think personally in game I would be somewhere around ace eight. Ooh, ace okay. seven suited. Oh, ace, ace eight. Seven. Look at this. And ace, ace nine eight. is mixed. Yeah, I would. Yeah, you, if you said ace nine, you get a zero. We <laughs> easily can tighten our range on the felt for sure. They don't shop enough. Ace seven suited, you get zero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was, I was saying. I was I at was ace ten, fine. ace eight suited. All right. Then. Look how you fold King Queen off, but you end up calling with King Ten suited. I would have missed King Ten suited to be honest. 
but we've seen a lot of call, a lot of faults from King Queen yeah. to a shove. Can you see shove the shoving range? With show with the the shoving range it's is like, going to be a lot of asex and pairs, Maxi. But yep, yeah, low asex and pairs. That's exactly. So it's all yeah. of the pairs and the ones that I honestly I always miss these. Like the Jack 10, Jack 9, Jack 8. I feel like population probably under does these, which is going to steal away from like the suited Broadway calls. But like and they the probably King overdo A6 is to be honest. And the King yeah. 7. It's interesting um, that King Queen called more in other uh, formations where they're jamming like suited Broadways. And so King Queen can expect to dominate some of those. Yeah, so you see the difference like here, mostly... right, Tim? Yeah. If it's mostly just ASX and pairs, then King Queen is just always behind to one degree or yep. another. Yeah, so like King Queen is probably in the dumpster if they're not jamming Jack 10, 10, 9, Jack 9, King 8. Yeah. If, right. If they're missing those, like you're behind you're behind their bluffs because their bluffs are going to be like ace three off, ace four yep. off. And you're like 45% and crying. Yeah, it's just it's it's no bueno at that point. 42% really, or something it's pretty bad. Uh, a 20 yeah. you know, down that part. Yeah, not that. Woo! Too shallow. Really? Too shallow. You go with ace I think ace, I think ace four is the bottom. Yep. Ace to four. be honest, I'm not going to lie. I open ace three, maybe even ace twos here. They just play the same in my mind. Maybe I fold ace twos. Uh, highly incentivized to check. Yeah, check back. Let's play a flop. Yeah, I think a lot of our raises are coming from the offsuit side. And um, like high, low, trashy suited stuff, so like some trashy jack X. Yes. I, I thought it was too. like Vincent Lamb that oh, suited nope. the victors one. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I'm, my strategy is from deeper stack depths, not, not 20. Well, like, I, I don't know why you would be incentivized. If you think just logically about it, like if you raise eight, seven suited and you just get jammed on, um, you're you're just kind of torching equity there, and like his response is going to be heavy limp jam. Well, and so look at like, but also look at what he limp folds. Like you raise eight seven suited, what does he do with eight three off? If he limped in, he just he just folds. Well, eight, I mean, eight off. seven suited is yeah, but is very competitive with those hands. <laughs> yeah, no, but I'm I'm sad that he folds those hands. I want him to make a, a pair with oh, me. Okay, you know? like, yeah. I don't, oh, I see what you're saying. What, yeah, we, yeah, I don't want him. I don't want him to fold that dominate. Like you were saying the other way around, he falls with everything that dominates us, and he folds everything that we dominate. That usually makes a bad raise. Right. So it, it it's kind of like another check mark for um, just taking it post flop. Um, I do bet here. Yeah, I go. I think yeah, it seems like a nice bet. I like yep. one or one six it's got five. Back doors all day long. No showdown value. Uh -huh. All right. So I think like all right. What's the worst ten you're opening here? I think this one's probably a theory fold. And yeah, five. I think this is a theory fold. Is it ten six suited? Maybe? I think it could be ten six at D stacks. Ten five. Because we we tighten up just a little bit at twenty bigs, right? Ten five, ten four. I think like, yeah, okay, ten five. Yeah, ten five. six is good bottom. Ten six. But you don't really open, right? You don't open it. It's in the range, but you. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot the button has some open limps at between fifteen and twenty. All right, so would this be something you could ever slot into a – well, not at 20. You don't need to slot it into a big bet. Um, I do want to bet, though. It's a spade. Any spade in our hand we bet there, right? I would think so, mainly. On a board of this texture, 9-5 deuce, two-tone, seems like a good up? bet. It does polarize I'm, a little bit. I was Look thinking of going up one because of the – It's Neapolitan. Neapolitan, it is. Yeah, I think on a nine high board, we bet just a little bit higher than betting rate. Right? Lots of uh, sizing up here, right? Seems to be, yeah. Lots of blue. The nines. 
Pocket tens, pocket jacks. Nines are way ahead and vulnerable. Okay. King on the turn. What do you guys want to do? I would barrel. I'd barrel. I check. I think it's. I think it's a good barrel. So I think I'd go straight. I'm sorry. No, I barrel. Up too much on the turn here to get some full liquidity. I think it's a bad tree. No, no. Oh, it's five. I would have. I would have barrel put the wrong size. Yeah, you got a blast here. That, that that's what I would have done. I thought it was a bet three because we saw a few times it today was gonna bet three as a double barrel. We gotta get him to fold to five. And yeah. in this case, pocket sixes. Yes, so it's an open. I think we're ace eight suited somewhere around there. Oh. Ace ten, ace eight suited, pocket fives. Is he full? I think we're like ace nine suited here. And then Seems like reasonable out. ranges. Because we're a little EP. Yeah, ace nine suited is oh. show 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 the EVs. Get zero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So in, in game you could you could you could lose those last two and be happy. So yeah, because we're a little bit more early position. Ace ten, ace jack off. Look at all the folding. <laughs> Beautiful, right? We don't have a spade, which is unfortunate, but it's at an eye board. It's connected. We can see that. Small. Right? No, I think um, this checks. We're no, man, gonna... this is um, this is a pretty garbage spot. It could be. Yeah. Also, I think this is more of a you connected like mid cards, a two tone. This is more of a big bet kind of board. Um, okay, so you think it's going to be big bets, sir? More, um, yeah. It's small bets because it's because it's locked up. Yeah, locked up since, here. No. Yeah, since this is the worst pocket pairer, we're going to open. Like this is going to be the big bets, and then it's going to start betting less as it goes up. All right, all right. Let's see that. Zero big bets. Thank you very much. Well, you can mm -hmm. go out sometimes. Yeah. But it's just a bit small. So, and then, oh, you don't want to bet. Oh, well, you can. Yeah. I, th I thought you wouldn't want to bet with, without a spade, but it doesn't really I just, matter. I just don't really want to bet that at all, though, is the thing. Yeah. Most of the just, time you don't. Just but find a check. A, it's a bit small, right? And yeah. then... If it was rainbow, just just a quick guess here. Uh, if it was rainbow, I think we would pull right a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Yeah, you're right. No, there's uh, still up back. I think it, rainbow makes it more more locked up equity than. Well, this is exactly. He, uh, that's it, what it I went thought. from six percent to seven point four percent. So yeah, like we said, a little bit more big betting. So we check here. Alpha I would think it would be the opposite. I'm wrong. I would think that the wait, wait, wait. You went too quick. We could have bet. I think we could have bet the ten. No. It was a majority check on that one, but you could. But it's like small. Right? I mean, but it, it's kind of weird for our range because, like, we had an opportunity to bet top pair on the flop, yeah. and then. After checking back flop, we then say, "Oh, we had a ten after all." Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he checked twice. Yeah, but if but we, we have five. If you see bad flop, we can definitely double barrel. <clears throat> but showing up uh, on the turn and starting to bet, I don't think this is a great idea. And then, what size are you gonna go for? Are you gonna bet like one big blind into your opponent? See how it works. No, I would have went like the thirty. 
to 1.8. Oh, yeah. Fold. <laughs> I don't. I don't have any desire to call this. Maybe the solver does, but whatever. We're just getting scammed by like some like stupid like eight seven or some trash. Raising's not out of the question. Yes. I don't know. What the? F well, well, raising we're way behind. Hurt. We're way behind his his nuts that want to do this for value, and we're way behind his block bets too. The second pair. Or third pair. Yeah. Yep. It's just a fold. And we block nothing. We block nothing exactly. Ooh. Block six five. Ooh. And he had the straight. He had so. it. Yeah, All but right. there, there were races in there. I'm what not about the good old lady three here. That. Race. We saw this. Oh, oh Maxi. Maxi. You want to raise anyone else with Maxi? We know the just, answer, Lou. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't. Danny, I, I Danny, just got here. Danny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said you already. I, no, raise like 20% or something. No, man. No, pure no. fold. You don't right. raise here. No, I, I just say pure. I raise. He, he's putting you on the spot when he did that about 20 minutes ago. I do. Yeah, don't let Lou <laughs> trick you into it. Okay, so fold. Low. probably can raise here, right? A sliver. Low frequency, I think. I don't think it's full. Max, oh. yeah. I'd uh, like to raise. Uh, <laughs> if we fold this, we should it, then fold this. Maxi, you don't want to raise. Anyone else? We're, yeah. we're, we're, we're under Wait, the gun. Are one we now chip EV or, or are we 50% or what are we studying? Oh, oh chip EV. The... Short stack. Chip EV. Short stack. And when you play the short stack, Imagine Scotty calling you a short stack. <laughs> <laughs> like 92 short percent stack, field what's your, Hey, short stack, what's your play here? <laughs> I don't know. This I one call, seems I, close. I call the floor over that. It's a raise. You no, no, no. They three suited and raise this one. Okay. Yeah. Full day three suited. Mixing. Mostly folding. What about the Jack Nine suited here? Jack Nine, I'm in there. Jack Nine suited. Yeah, Jack Nine. I would, I would say Jack Nine still, probably. Can we bluff here? No, I think from under the gun you can get all the suited nines in. Does it ever? Uh, does oh. it ever jam some of these suited kings? Uh, no, it jams like middle of the range stuff, like. King Jack suited or something in that neighborhood. The suited Broadways make sure make make a lot of sense. But I, I was just the kings, I don't think so. Yeah, just not against low jack. Maybe not. That's really too weak. Maybe small blind versus button. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was thinking too. Two? Old. Old. Unless if they're, they're uh, if they're nits, you can go for it. Yeah. Hold. Okay. Okay. King Jack off to raise under the gun, right? Yeah. Oh, Gallon, what do you want to do here? I think you might be able to call this. You might have been call. No. This, this might have some slivers. You. you I think. Yeah, I, think nah, I don't really want to call it from cut off. I think button is a big difference. About seven agree. eight. Seven eight suited. It yep. has a small sliver. Yep. Three point four percent. I'm not seven, really eight getting like in there 50, until 50. nine eight suited. Then I might call. The guy who won the six max called seven eight against me off the stack and uh, busted me in the millionaire maker. Oh yeah. <laughs> huh. French nine, kid. Seven. Nine seven. Nine seven. I mean no, I think ten eight's in and nine eight is, nine seven's out. Yeah. Okay. I'm with that, Joey. I'm with that. It was in there a sliver though. Open. Ooh. Open. Oh, this, is a bit, this is a bit wide, I think. Um, a little it's bit in there. Wider. Oh. This is good, right? Amazing. Yeah, you can open it. 
I'm too nitty with these. Yeah, oh. I probably would have missed that too. Oh. Old. All right. So here the question is Ace 10 off. What do you do here? You fold Ace 10 off. You fold Ace 10 off. Ace under the gun, what? You, you fold, fold Ace and suited. <laughs> ace yeah, we're, yeah, under the gun versus hijack is like several pips tighter than the one yeah, you saw. You gotta, right be, you gotta be respectful here. Ace Jack off. Ace fold, Jack is still fold. looking sick. Ace Jack I'm off is mixing. Ace Jack. That's my prediction. I am calling Ace Jack. Is this a mistake? You're over here handing out zeros, but you're wanting to defend Ace Jack under the gun one versus a hijack jam. You folding his jack here? It's gonna be how zero much, EV. How much do you think that's worth? Zero. I think it's zero. Yeah, I think it's mixing. Zero. One, two. I think it's zero. I'm folding ace ten off. I'm I'm struggling with ace ten suited. Ace jack suited, I'm ha I'm not happy with. Ace Jack? Ace Jack oh, suited? Jack. I'm already counting them. I'm spending the chickens with ace jack yeah. suited. Yeah, I'm more comfortable calling Ace Jack suited. Okay. I mean, I'll call. That's what I'm saying. I think it's a call. I think Ace Jack is pretty like I got a call. Ace Jack off. I don't know. Ace Jack off might be. Ace Jack of off. I'm calling. Yeah, like one two. Ace Jack oh, off. Oh my goodness. No, it's nothing. Hey, oh, look at that, Louis. You were I get so zero. confident. I no, get no, zero. you don't. You don't. No, you don't get zero. You don't get zero. You get a negative point four seven. Negative. Negative. Yeah. I if if you look at his range, he might be flatting ace ten off here, which makes ace jack worse. We should we should hire somebody to keep the score here. <laughs> Count the EV. And ace say, jack suited. By the way, ace jack suited was the floor. It wasn't yeah. like a slam mm -hmm. dunk. Ace wow. ten suited is yeah. out of there. See the struggle with ace ten suited. Yeah, I probably would would have been folding the seven. Okay, so you can fold ace jack here. You can fold ace jack. It's okay. All right, you, sevens. You can fold sevens. It's okay. You can fold sevens. Really? Sevens is kind of miserable. I think sevens and the lucky yeah. sevens. Ding ding ding. The sevens. You, no. you in practice, your... I'm folding a lot more than sevens. I'll tell you that. Mm. Yeah, probably good. Probably good too. Mm. Fold it, you're, fold, you're folding nines. Nines is a good question. What do you do with nines there, Tim? Nines, I'd call, but I wouldn't be happy. Yeah, fold nines. Yeah, wow. that one might be player dependent. There's there's guys I'm folding nines too. <laughs> right. Hey man, I, I I respect it. I think if like you're making those kind of deviations and you have a yeah, that's good, good right? justification. It's good. That's good poker. King five here. Um, this is yeah, Little twenty big blinds. Twenty big blinds is too much. What do you do here? King eight? It's not even king seven, right? Um, it's like king, king eight's gonna be. No, I think king it's like nine, king seven, king six. Eight. It's one of those. King seven might yeah. be oh, in there. Slivers. Oh. King six and go. king seven. Yeah, we're I'm greedy. With I would have missed the king eight. six. We're greedy <laughs> with the kings. The later you get, I think the better this is as well. Mm -hmm. You do it hey, at the end with a good please. blocker. You gotta call this, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you do complete for sure. Um. Okay. <laughs> Check. Check raise. I would be Why? tempted. Maybe, yeah, I did it. Oops, I did it again. I got Dr. the barrel. I think we barrel one. Picked up card. equity. We gotta blast it and pray. Half of the oh, okay. stack here. Gee. I hope you're not gonna try to have a singing career, Billy. Really. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. I think we gotta punt. Go ahead. Well, waste your board. Chips. He definitely has a weak ace. And I'm, waste your chips. <laughs> I'm so lost. <laughs> White flag. It was all a joke. Makes sense. Man. You can have he it. went uh he went full LTO there. <laughs> what do you no mean? no questions, comments, just clicking buttons. What do you mean? It's a check raise, no? Pair board, you're fun with a big blind, you mostly defend by check raising. This is not a great a, combo, uh, right? I think, I think, check raise. Raise. The turn is, yeah. I think throwing the turn is absolutely questionable. <laughs> 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 okay, wait, 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 wait. 
You get an ace here. You check raising in an ace. You got the king. We're not check raising a lot of aces. We're check raising a lot of stuff that's worse than aces. That's you, the thing. Right. He's, you got the king. He's calling. Three. He's calling with a lot of aces. I mean, I see why you like it. You have a spade. You have a gut shot. But like we're that's expecting it. that you just call with like ace ten of hearts, right? We picked like up equity. We're in the shitters. Like we're in trouble right. here. I don't so, know where we picked up equity. Well, I got to put yourself on the other side. Of I'm the not going to let you pick up equity here. Let's see if we picked up equity. Look Listen, at, if I look at range up versus range on the turn after he calls us on the flop, and range versus range equity after the ace drops on the turn, I'm not convinced that we picked up equity. For me, Tim, I I would when I card like this card a lot. I feel like James Bond, license to kill. All right. All right. So to to Tim's point, let me ask the question then. Okay, so like you're trading, like you think a king is still good here at this point. Like you're losing outs but you are picking up a gut shot. So like, I mean, are you really picking up equity at this point? And Let's then like the, the, the other part, uh, the other part, we're kind we of like just completely, uh, we're just, well, okay. So what is he defending here though? Of what ace do we have? That's what, besides ace Jack, what ace do we basically have? Basically none. We have basically no aces. It's, it's are suicide. We, we have a five? Like, what we, is, I don't get this some. size. Well, I mean, five X is definitely our value range for sure. Um, or a piece of our value range. But mm -hmm. then the question is whether this is really a great bluff or not. If you find it on the flop, it definitely looks like it wants to like, I mean, continuing is reasonable at this point, but we are like in the slivers of the slivers. I feel like it's almost compounding mistakes. Because <laughs> on the flop, this was only a 5% raise, right? Yeah, that's that's what I'm getting at. He called right, again with on. sixes? Bro. Let's move on. Ooh. Wait, why don't I would love to resolve the question of um when the ace drops is actually go up or down? Sorry. Thanks, time. Just coffee. Just so, coffee. So after he calls on the flop, we well, can see the range versus range equity there. Uh we were under the gun, right? No, we were a big line. So yeah, for the range, the turn is not great. But that's what Dooley was saying in the chat. But what up, Dooley? Look at this. For this portion of the range that picks up equity. Oh, I mean, sure. It, picks, it has a gutter. It has a gutty. Uh, okay, so this is a pair. I would have played King Queen the same. So all like the straight draw type of stuff. King Queen beats King Jack and King Ten, which are like some of his marginal defense. Also, I think is some of what's going on there. And then you mostly want to bet spades. Yeah, it also has two over cards to second pair. So yeah, you have that additional equity given if he's at a, a marginal Jack or something. Yeah. And then let's get back to our flop strategy, raising a lot, forty percent raises. We didn't raise our combo, right? Which was King 10, right? But we go, we'll get Look free stuff with that area a little bit. Those suited aces and the I think, off suit ace wheels are all raising. Yeah. I think it's the classic thing where um, it doesn't have a lot of dominating hands that it can get to fold, like King Queen calls it. And so then it's just uh, getting folds from worse and getting calls from better. All right, so here it's not a mix. You can fold. Yeah. Fold. Mix. Fold. Sure. Hmm. Queen Jack, you open. Or no. Raise. 10 9 2 is definitely raise. Yeah, this is good. Mm -hmm. It's worth a sliver. 100% sliver. Yep. Ace high dry. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it wants to like range bet this at some free or like bet this very frequently. I probably overcheck this spot. I don't know against button though. I think, I think we play like solver plays you very cagey against button, right? I think it's you just, he doesn't have a lot of. I just don't think he has a lot of ace X that he's flatting compared to like what he might be raising. I think he does. You I think he has like a like so mid suited, 
mid suited aces, right? Like he has like ace ten suited kind of stuff, stuff in that range. Maybe before you hit the range, I th- my understanding of these situations is when we're out of position, every hand that we continue with, we mix check and bet on the flop. That there's no hands yep. that are a hundred percent bet. Yeah, that we continue. Yeah. yeah. That's so good. this one, yep. Scotty, you're you're spot on. Yep. Yeah. So bet or check raise, right? There's there might there are some check call. I think I'd bet here. Check call. Mm, maybe. I think this is going to be more of a check raise because it doesn't really have meaningful yeah. showdown value. But well, I, I didn't mean it, to a flush. Yeah. No. I just I meant I meant in general. Yeah. So yeah like what I was yeah. saying. When, when I when I say I should clarify because I'm working off the assumption. Like when you're betting out of position, yeah, you you're not going to find a hundred percent range bet. It's not the same. When I say range bet, like I'm assuming there's always going to be like. 25 to 30 percent checks but like all combos in range have some betting frequency which is not always the case out of position yeah right louis can we look at his button calling range preflop just remind ourselves what he's playing as opposed to when you're deep here and you see like 60 percent check or whatever right? but we that, have that's, that's a more polarized them. strategy that's a more polarized have a lot of races in him well, There's yeah. So, like, look at the top. He's some he's hamstring on pairs. the suited side, on the on the offsuit side. So, but you know, it's he's got aces for sure. He's got some suited eight x, nine x, ten x. So we saw we can bet small, or we can even find a sliver of bet big. Um, I think I just fold, fold from fold. Easy fold. Fold under fold. Such a fold. Uh, what's the worst jack you open here? Jack five? Jack seven from cutoff, I think. Ooh, I think jack six Wait, so maybe. Jack six. I, I think jack six is in there. I'm not sure about jack five. Okay, jack seven's the obvious answer right there. Suited sevens are like full frequency. Old. Old. This mixes, Old I twice. think. Okay. So what do we do with King Queen off? King Queen off? Yeah. Call. That's that, that's easy. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. Oh, I missed the no open. Calling. I missed yeah. the ignore. I missed the open. Ignore me. <laughs> Uh, king queen off man i feel like is completely indifferent to all options utg versus low jack it's ace, probably jack, ace 10 off is jack off ace jack off equally probably, equally yeah, yeah, was, like uh how you said it like neutral okay, yeah i think like it's gonna be I think folding, calling and racing are all gonna have similar evs i feel like that's the case for your ace jack King Queen. Um, I feel like Ace Ten is just gonna fold offsuit. Sorry. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like they're gonna be <laughs> pretty neutral, like you said. Right. King Queen off. Yeah. So it's if mixing. You're not allowed to call. What do you yeah, do? <laughs> yeah, that's that's interesting. It doesn't want to call at all. Are you showing case 10 suited against UTG? Probably not enough, Maxi. Hmm. All right. So ace nine suited. Hmm. And it's like a small click, right? Bet five. Yeah, it's a three bet slot. So the hands that we thought were were like zero EV were actually all three bet or folds. Makes sense. I, I mean, that's if we yeah. flat, we get squeezed too much. Yeah, no flatting range from early, early on there. I yeah. think that's good. This is a fold, but it's kind of close, but it's a fold. I don't think it's close. What what's your what do you do with ace nine suited here, Tim? I think based on the ones we saw before, ace nine suited is probably the one. It's different I, positions now. It's EP and button. Well, we've seen a couple. Two players we've left to die. I don't think I'm with you, start. Tim. 
Yeah. I think Ace Nine suited is probably the next thing. The one. And, yep. And gotta be remember that buttons the one with the most incentive to call other than a big blind. So offsuit, yeah. offsuit ends. What do you call it? Like a uh, ace jack. Yeah. Yep. I ace think jack ace jack and queen are mixing, like zero v yeah. mixing. I think those are the obvious ones. I wonder if ace ten ever calls ace ten off. Probably not. I think right? ace ten mixes and ace jack pure calls and king queen folds a lot, if not pure. Okay. Ace nine is the one. Ace ten does mix. King queen is a majority. King jack suited majority. We're pretty dialed in. We know. We know. Yeah. I feel pretty good about this. Yeah. This range Ace. is also, I mean, these ranges have changed a little bit from different positions, but actually not a ton. Not, like, not so, that much, right? It's all, no. all it's a part. Before you move on, what do you guys think if we adjust this for 35 or 50% ICM? How do you think these floors deviate? How do you think they change? God. Like you, you lose like two pips? Two? two. That comes Ooh. ace queen. Yeah, ace jack will start folding a lot. King queen is fully out. Mm, I feel like you guys are mm. overestimating the risk premium a smidge. Ace 10 suited mix. I could see maybe a pip. I would think like ace 10 suited probably becomes like ace 10 offsuit. Ace jack's offsuit is probably mixing. Maybe we remove king queen off, king jack suited. <coughs> yeah. It's worth, a, it's worth think, a look. I think two pips on the pairs. And then sevens. Yeah, I agree. Two pips on the pairs. So do like 37 or 50 or something. You got to do the eight on the and left you, yeah, side. Yeah, to 37. Yeah. No, not 50. So my answer changes. 35, 40. 20 big blinds. Or 20. Right? 20 for the same. 20 big blinds. Same. Yeah. yeah. You want to win hijack the button. Hijack raise, button jam. Okay, so... Yeah, yeah. Seven, okay. seven's is bottom. No so idea. It was like no one idea. pip, really. So, okay, good. It looks like I was pretty close. King Jack's out, King Jack suited's out, Ace Nine's out. I overestimated Ace Jack folding out. It's still like pretty full frequency. All now, right. if you go to 37 or, yeah, do a quarter even, a quarter or 37, one of those. No, no, no. We're going to have that. Okay, so, so still about the same, not, not too much. Ace Jack becomes slightly oh. more important. Another pip, more or less. Ace ten is gone. But we lost sevens, and sevens are gone. Yeah, we had sevens before. That's right. Okay, thirty-seven percent of the field left. Now, if you go to a quarter, twenty-five percent. All right. So now, Ace Jack is like Ooh. out, and eights Pocket are gone. Eights. Eight, that's we lose pretty pairs. Wow. We lose pairs quickly. I might be music. I might be making mistakes with eights here. I've been folding yeah, so. eights and and stuff like that a lot as you get deeper. It's now near really bubble well. for the near bubble. The yeah, I want to see. I want to see bubble. Also, near bubble this is going to be tight. That that twenty five percent range is like my calling range in chip EV versus population. Probably I don't. Not that's reasonable. It. It's, it's probably not bad, Dooley. It's probably good, Dooley. I honest. don't like calling Ace Jack off. I'm trying to be better about defending my margins. If I think that there's EV to be had, I've been looking. I feel like Final 3 is going to open back up a little bit. Oh, you don't have symmetric ranges, do you? Yeah, yeah Final definitely. 2, Final... You're this not is a pretty low ICM spot, because you'll... Uh, you can just do near. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He did do near. No, I'm curious. That close enough. One of those. Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty reasonable. That that one right there, yeah. Button has 20 in this one, so it's good. Yeah. 
Who? Who does this Jack now? And Ace Queen up. Wow. And nine. Ace Queen. Ace Queen. Yeah, oh, this is two tables, actually. I don't know. How many yeah. tables is this? The two, final two tables. Two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is it's getting real, boys. We can't just be punting it off with Ace Queen anymore. So the question is post money bubble, but before you get toward the fun, let's say there's 70 left and you're in the money, then it should widen up again, right? I've got yeah, that'll be more that. like that'll be more like a like lowish ICM pressure, like a ice like 75 or 50 percent of field, Back more like that. 50 percent type, yeah, yeah, yeah something okay. like that. So like, I mean, I'm sure, premium, I'm sure uh, like, if you go deep on it, you can like refine that. But that's, I don't know, that's like my rule of thumb. Back at tens. The uh, Danny, the risk premium at the money bubble is similar to the risk premium at a final table bubble, like at there, like in terms of magnitude. So like those ranges should be close, but then it drops down to where it's like a ten percent risk premium after that. So. It, it, it's it's not that adjusted right after the money bubble because people are gambling and trying to build stacks. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah, and there's a long way to go. You know, if you're going to win the thing, you're going to need chips, so you got to take more. Right. Them. Well, and the, the financial incentive between getting paid 71st place and let's say 65th place is very little. There's not much to gain yeah. there. An interesting one, Galen, now that you're playing some like smaller events, is you're probably seeing ones where you get through the bubble and then you're kind of already on the final table bubble, right? Like if you're playing a 100-man tournament. Yeah, a lot of those actually, the money bubble pops like final two tables. Exactly, yeah. Sure. That's kind of interesting. So then you kind of really need to calibrate. If people go wild right then, that's the kind ICM of effects just kind of Yeah, the ICM effects just kind of go down. Like you have to put like, I don't know, I guess just less emphasis on the whole like model. <laughs> Just because like a double up on the money bubble could equate to you like going into the final table That's second right. or third in chips. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I've I've heard the same thing in a sort of smallish field tournament, like 40 to 100 people, you you still kind of need to play for for chips through many of those it, points it, to some degree. It, it is it is different. It is kind of weird. I would bet small here. I think that's one. good. Bear board. Yeah. He just doesn't have a lot of do sex either. So hey, do we want to look at? Can I actually get one more off topic? Can I get one more off topic? I see him question here. So nowadays people are paying more of the field, um, but one place where I play live, they play seven point five percent of the field. Oh wow! Wow. Yeah, What's which means the min, min cash is close to like two and a half to three buy-ins somewhere in that range. So I was okay. thinking about this. So that means early on in the tournament, ICM is even less of a factor, right? You're not gonna like you're not gonna limp into the money with two starting stacks or whatever. So you're gonna need to you're gonna need to play. But then that bubble is is more intense than the average bubble, right? If you if you were thinking like in terms of a graph in your mind, the curve going up the graph is gonna have a steeper slope. Yeah, a higher it starts off lower. So like when we're 50% of the field remaining, we're still not that close. Cause like you really need a you need a fair number of chips and you gotta bust a lot of people. So you're still playing for chips at 50% remaining. Or right. The curve's gonna be more parabolic, like in yeah. nature. Kind of starts off even slower and then spikes even higher right at the bubble. All right, that's what I was yep. thinking. I've got a bu I have a bubble question um for the most extreme case. So you're playing in a triple up. So Three people are paid. They're paid the exact amount. There are four people left. So it is the maximum ICM that you could have. It's um, basically a satellite. Right. right? Satellite. Yeah. So you're in this, if you're in the small, you're in the small blind um, folded to you, um, a hand like five, uh, six, five suited, five, four suited. You're going to limp it. You're going to fold it. You're going to raise it. You're going to jam it. 20 you're big ones. You're big probably one. just supposed to jam. Well, it depends on their chip stacks, but you, you're, yeah, you're you're everybody's got twenty. You, you got four people, stacks. About twenty max. You're just at the absolute maximum of ICM. Your range is going to be like hundred percent jam. Yep, Scotty, do you have the Darrow Kearney um, satellites book? Because it's really strong for stuff like this. Um, okay. The the theory is every player should really only be open jamming. Um, 
and um and then players call off very tight like you know right. queens yeah. plus kings plus kind yeah, of kind of ranges so like, you can you can jam like 80 percent, and he calls off like three percent or something stupid right. um the the issue is that you've got to kind of make a guess of how much of mistakes they're making like if he's calling you off with pocket tens it's punting but the yeah, shitty thing is. is he doesn't just lose his ev when he does that he loses or yours because you're giving it all to the people who don't play the people who win are the people who don't play if you can survive and not play exactly exactly yeah hmm. right so your your uh your table tags come into uh come right. into play there they're pretty they're pretty valuable yeah all right now we want to see joey's hand from this all right joey let's, let's see what you got joey first off let's let's sh sh oh no not a channel i was kidding this week. oh my goodness i want to turn down so First off, for people that didn't see, Joey got closed yesterday. He was uh, got, deep in a $50. Oh, but, that is pretty deep. That is pretty deep. But he had a little issue. So show us, Joey, what happened. Joey? Oh, maybe he's back. Right. Okay, no. Oh, Joey, you want it on YouTube or not? Um, It doesn't matter. You can keep it on YouTube. Okay. All right, so this oh, final two tables. How many picks? So already, Joey, show oh, me wait. what happened pre flop. Must be like 100. Oh, is it the limp pop? Okay. No, it looks like a raise call. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it looks like a raise call. He okay, so completed. Joey, so already I would not defend pre flop if it's 20 left. Would you yeah, I uh, I agree with Louis. This is like the floor. Like, no, no, actually, this, is not, this is not the floor. This is an easy fold pre-flop. Actually, I checked that. Um, you can, I think you need I like mean, it, queen it, ten here. Maybe well, you look, nine. You can look at this range. To be honest, like if you have um, for me here, queen eight is an easy fold pre-flop. Right. Everyone after. doesn't. Everyone doesn't have the LTO ranges. You want to share those with us so we can see the LTO ranges. Yeah. Did you the renew my in... did you renew my LDO ranges? No, I haven't yet. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> okay, Some, Joey, uh, you, I'm pretty sure. Um, you have... Here we go. LDO is this this can you see the LTO, LTO wizard? Uh, Louis, no, we Louis, can only uh, see theory optimal. Oh, we thank only, you. We okay. only see the replayer. All right, hang on. Let me stop sharing. So, Louis, what would you defend bottom 20 left? Queen Queen 10. So, I, I, I checked this. Queen 8 off is kind of marginal. Is this, uh, Louis, or I'm sorry, Joey, is this uh, like final two tables or? Yeah. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. So this is final two tables. Yeah. It's like I told you, it's like the floor. Hmm, interesting. I agree, I agree with you, though, Louis. I guess I'm too tight. It makes sense. Okay, I can defend one pip wider maybe on the big one. I was very, very clear it was a full pre flop for me. I'm defending like queen nine. But Louis, I think um, your, your I'm instinct at... is to not defend like 85% of range like you do in Chippy B. That's a good instinct. So I, 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 don't I agree. I agree oh, with wait. you, Louis. Like, I, I like you're not losing much. If you, if you cut another pip or two off there, you're not losing a lot. Yeah, I'm Especially sorry. This age. Yeah, we saw the fun. <laughs> okay, so you yeah, so it was a min raise I called. Yeah. So check. Checked here. That. All right. So first thing, like, I would look at this bet size and say, like, this guy could have range bet small this, but he chose to size up to half pot. Like, this I know it seems, like, insignificant, but I, I think I would be way more respectful to this. One he, thing that Matt this Affleck, guy had bet sizing errors. Okay, so one thing Matt Affleck, okay. when he looked at my game, would say immediately, okay, is that at this stack there, you have a check raise small range, right. right, right off the bat. So there, there's a a world where you click it to six big blinds here. Honestly, right. man, I like oh. folding. I like folding. I I'm definitely like. 
holding here. But there's if it's the queen of diamonds, if it's the if, queen if of diamonds, to, if you are to raise Joey, think about there's a, a non all your 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 raise size here is not going to be all in. I didn't even consider that in game. Yeah, that's from Matt Affleck. I mean, I, I don't hate a click. I don't I know if it applies here for this particular spot, but I know that under 20 or 15 big blinds, you have a check raise small range. Yeah, That's, I think this should, I would say this this should have been a goal. It doesn't make a big difference whether you jam or go six. It, like, does, because you don't go, it. it does because you don't go broke with it. Can we get this in Pio with the... Um, with, no, you with, can't uh, make it six and pressure and everything. I did run this in Pio with Chippy V. Okay. And yeah, definitely. I would I would not never ever stop. I would consider raising small before stuffing. It was it a part of the strategy raising small. This is it chip EV, it's a call. Most it's not it's actually not even a full frequency call. So I think this should be a fold with ICM. Yeah, absolutely. So just flop fold. And then the Wait, and that, the call that I'm seeing in, right? the call that I'm seeing is with the with the the queen of the flush suit, right? There is one with the diamond. Okay, I see like the there oh wait, no, never mind. It's You're hearts right here. Yeah. It's hearts yeah. here. Yeah, you have yeah, to yeah, so... on, on this one. There is a small sliver of Tiny sliver up there of shoving, but I'm, yeah. I think that comes that has to come out at ICM. And that's just because the tiniest of slivers usually are just noise when you don't solve it to zero. Yeah, that's just because yeah. the yes. sim is not solved yeah. to zero. Yeah, I would agree. That's definitely true. Honestly, honestly, I think it's just a pretty clear fold when this guy chooses to size up a little bit facing you. Yeah. That's a red flag. Well, now this guy. No table slip. The, his sizing wasn't a red flag for me because he was going big all the time. Yeah, but still, um, your pen doesn't have a cookie to. Nah. So, I mean, like, it's one of those things. Even if he's making, like, ridiculous errors, like, if he's just, like, okay, let's say he just opened jams 100% of his range on the flop. Does that, does that affect your decision making? Are you still continuing with a hand like this, you know? No. Joey, I want to see something. Uh, when you raise small, okay, when you raise to six, yeah, and then he stuffs it. We have some raise folds. I don't think you get to fold this hand if you raise, raise to six and then all in, and then do we have hands that raise to six that wanted to fold? I want now to fold. Um, I'm not sure. Two combos. I would, well, obviously, because these are in here, these blues are in here, so we are folding some parts of our range. So nothing really is race folding. It's one point eight combos in total. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Out of twenty-seven. Yeah. So not really. So when you click it, you mostly go with it. All right. And so all those synopsis. folds probably don't really raise. So this is what happened. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna show you like a a, a stronger hand, obviously, right? Queen ten, okay, that kind of sucks. Um, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, just fold. Flat I uh, or fold I kind of like I like what Louis said. I like folding this pre, and then facing that flop bet. I like just folding on the flop. I like yeah. his sizing. Um, in some ways, um, like a ten without a diamond. Um, it's kind of nice to make it a two-street game. Yeah, like, um, I wouldn't assume this guy had sizing issues after I saw what size he chose on this flop with that hand. Just off this one example. Like, I, I think he sized up appropriately to lower SPR enough to turn it two streets on you. Yep. Yeah, because his hand, it's not going to love seeing three streets, you know, king or an ace on the river could be awkward, you know, if, if the flush keeps coming, you know. Yeah, most of his range should have been that small. And I, I don't think it changes with ICM that he should start betting bigger. 
No, that's not really an ICM concern. Um, it's just kind of like these, um, where you do see the big bets though. I mean, it's the solver is doing it with King 10 and Ace 10, not really Queen 10, but it's not crazy. Um, and I bet if you see those King 10s, I bet you they're gonna be King 10 offs without the flush suit that go a little bit bigger. Yeah, but I, I didn't really take notice of his. Um, can can we see that King 10 off on that, oh. on that solve? King 10 off on mine. Yeah, my or? prediction is that it's without flush suit that goes bigger. It's there on the left. without the flush suit. So, I mean, he's like kind of upgrading queen 10 to play more like a king 10, but like it's one pip off, it's not crazy. Pretty yeah, gross he does spot. have some bigger with queen 10. Yeah, exactly. If he bet small, I would call. Against this big bet, it's like, oh, not what. Yeah, I agree, I should have folded. <laughs> it was a punt. All right. You know, honestly, in theory, your, I don't think it's a reads. punt. I think it's losing, but like you also you it's just fine. get there a significant frequency of the time, which is a, which is cool. So I know I would call it a I'm... learning experience. <laughs> I'm gonna show I mean, one I'm... where I think my opponent got me pretty good. Yeah, in game I was like, I have one over backdoor flush draw and a gut shot, and I just went with it. Yeah, I mean. And I think that's, I don't think it's the craziest play. I mean, yeah. Even if we like talk it through and decide that it's probably losing a little bit, okay, fine. But like, yeah. If these are the mistakes that you're like tuning, then you're like playing freaking good poker. So here's a hand where I think my I got seriously scammed. So props to my opponent uh, here. Uh, under the gun has two big blind and a pretty big uh, bounty. And then this guy here has pocket kings. And as you see here, it just calls. The Galen special. And then I'm looking at this with ace queen off. I'm like, okay, yeah. I got like uh, 100 big blinds, 90 big blinds. I'm saying, okay, I'm going to eyes out to take the money. And then he just snaps me off. With <laughs> but, Why don't you then, just make it like 13? Aren't you here? going to like 10, 11? No, I want to ISO. I want to go all in. I want to pick up the bounty. Uh, but if you I just think it's a little 13. bit too much. Like when you do get called, when you get called with Ace King off, you're often flipping against Jax, right? But like when you get called with Ace Queen off, like he has Ace King sometimes. He has Kings. Like he happened to get me because I think most people play the spot poorly. Like they don't get it in with the enough wide range for the for the bounty and it's kind of easy to push them off pots here but this guy here really got me <laughs> sometimes it happens to trick a one percent but uh it's not it even make it's it like color. 18 big blinds <clears throat> like i think you get the same result uh you know if he has queen jack suited and you make it 18 bigs he's probably gonna yeah play. but here's the question if you make it something like 15 or so and then he comes back and shoves. Are you calling with ace queen? No, nah, just full. Just full. All right. What about the this? The is that then you get the honest reaction and you can, I mean, I don't know. He can still have like tens and shit. So it, it's weird, right? But I think he would ISO a hand like tens. It's like nuts or nothing. So what's this? This one I open early position. I get a big blind to defend from Brazil, this guy. And then on the flop, I get a favorable flop, I'd say. So I bet one big blind. And then he raised to four. And then I just call. On the turn, he bet seven. I just call. This is pretty great. Yeah. This is and then on the river, this is just because I bet one big blind and people don't respect it. And then uh on the river he blasts half pot and i went all in then he ended up folding but i got critiqued here because uh people say i should have raised small instead of going on in but there's in just not a lot of chips behind i mean yeah it's hard to raise any sizing there and get paid if he doesn't have it 
I mean, the guy's gonna have, have he's gonna have he's gonna have air balls here, absolutely nothing, or he's gonna have like like you said, he's gonna have a king sometimes. He's gonna have a flush here sometimes. Flush. I think those hands pay. A, I think those hands will pay a jam on the river. Yeah, and if somehow he rolled off king eight or king seven, like you should be getting paid. If somehow he rolled off eights or sevens, yeah. I mean, if he shows you king, if he shows you like king ten of diamonds here, after you jam, it's like okay, well, you know, maybe you can start adjusting. Well, also with Louis stack, <laughs> with the other guy stack, who called Rastakari? Yeah, he's got twenty big blinds less, so it's like a sixty big blind jam. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Into so like SPR of two, it's like two X. Yeah, no, no, no. no. It's actually, it's it's like like one X. The hell it's it's one like three bets, fourteen big blinds. It's more like a single pot yeah. sized raise. I uh, I admitted the fourteen. You're right. It is like about a pot size jam. So yeah, the guy shouldn't like... be folding a king. He shouldn't be folding a king. He shouldn't be folding flush. Right. I agree. Basically. All right. So, and I think you, I mean, you know, you're not always going to get every chip, here? but you got a lot of chips, so you should be happy here. What size should I raise here? I like all jam. In. I think I'm okay with the all in. All right. Have you seen in the wizard, Louis? What wizard said? The wizard. Oh, I mean, yeah. Solver is only going to jam here. It's never going to have a small air raise size. If you're going to raise size, like it says an exploit against an opponent who, like, behaves very differently against these race sizes that are actually quite close to each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this bet is a, a nuts or nothing bet. All right. Let's see what else I have. So just in theory, well, what's your, uh, the race your bluff the range there? Should be something like queen eight or something ridiculous? Something that blocks like all boats? Ooh, or just the ace of clubs. Ace of clubs, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah i think that's a, i think that's good like uh blocking all the full houses interesting and then maybe like the ace of clubs or something i remember absolutely butchering this hand and it's somehow the game i ran deep into all right well, but this what did you one, do? a massive butcher look at this i raise button call big blind call we get this flop i bet one big blind i don't like this <laughs> this guy <laughs> calls this guy raise I'm like, he raised, but like he's short stack. And then I have like, do you call it check raiser with this queen? Dude, it's a mess. It's, it's a, a mess, right? Where... But the other guy called her. Check ready. this out. I somehow forgot that this guy was in the hand. Okay. <laughs> so I call Did... him, whatever. I don't know what I'm doing from here. It's just a disaster. This guy calls, right? We hit the queen. I can't, I can't critique you too much because I've done that before. And We, hit, we yeah. hit the queen and this guy goes all in. So I'm like, okay, this is why I floated. I wanted to play for the bounty and blah, 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 blah. So I call. And when I put the 10 blinds in, I'm like, somehow this guy's left to hack. I'm like, what? I was going to say, like, honestly, if you know he's in the pot on the turn, I like folding the turn. Oh, honestly, this is a butcher. What day. is... What is thrifty? Oh. What does that guy actually call with on the flop? Like I can't even think of like a loose float after it goes bet call raise call. Yeah, he is a Chinaman though, so may I mean, I've seen crazier things happen with worse. It's China versus China versus crazy Canadian, so things are gonna go wild here. But anyhow, on the turn, I'm like, I when I called and he shoved, I'm like, what have I done? You know? And then I'm never good, right? So I just fall and then yeah. Did Galen just say, did Galen just say Chinaman on YouTube? Chinaman. <laughs> Why not? It's uh it's a, like an 80s term. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> not PC anymore. Ah, uh, okay. Um <laughs> One of our Far Eastern comrades. How about that? I think an 80s term is an extremely <laughs> generous <laughs> character. <laughs> All right. This one, I kind of guess can. So raise, I, I call. And then I call from what? From the button, right? Small blind. From the small blind. And then the big blind squeeze. Original razor folds. It's back on me. 
I should defend uh, against Suited. It's close, man. He stands Suited. All right, so like my thoughts are, you're blocking his bluffs. Like he he should be like squeezing Suited Broadways. Should and you he? having a ten of hearts is not great here. Or what? What's the arrangement, by the way? Oh, I'm sorry. It's like. I know how you feel here, Louie. It's like, oh, I flatted top of range. Now I'm getting squeezed. But... Falling does feel bad. It feels like either rejam or fold. Anyway. I, don't know how, I don't know how deep you started the pot with. I don't know what the positions are. I'm having a hard time following. So it's like button, small blind, big blind? Yeah. Uh, no, it's like or cut off. Cut off, small blind, big blind. Yeah. So how deep was cut off? 80. And Louis the, the, is. This nine. is like a funny. And sorry, where, where are we at in the tournament? Yeah. This is. A 50 big man effective. I still can't see the cutoff range. Oh, yeah, I would call them, I guess. You're deep enough, right? Louis, slide up a little bit so we could see the. All right, so Johnny has 50. Louis punts off how many big blinds here? 20, uh, no, it's 50 effective. At them. Okay, 50 effective. You know, ugh, I don't know what this range looks like. I don't remember what the squeeze range, the squeeze call range. Is. Here, let me check. I can check. Do you have this on GTO Wizard? I don't know if you have the call range versus squeeze. Three, three bet the cutoff. This is pretty reasonable. You can like, three bet the cutoff and then call off uh, versus big blind, I think, when he four bet jams for the bounty. That seems that seems scary. Oh, it's a bounty? Then definitely call. I think it calls in a not bounty, too. Like, when you flat ace 10 suited, you get squeezed. Like, All right. Just gotta so, call, that's, right? That's, so yeah. look, there's Ken's answer right there, the the four bet. I kind of I, I kind of liked it. I just didn't know, you know? Oh, I didn't know All it right. did this. So but it is call. a call. Not it is a call, it. But, okay, my real questions for the turn. So check bet call on the flop. I think that's fine, right? I it's like the king. Uh, I, I like, it's uh, the king I bore, and I'm supposed to overfold, but this never, right? You got to continue but, on the flop, hundred yeah, percent. Whatever. So turn comes, break. I'm like ah, well, check bet thirteen. He bets thirteen into into thirty. 30. Yeah. So, I think it's an easy call, man. I mean, I know, like, knowing that he has top boat, okay, sure, it sucks. But I think people, like, you see people making crazy mistakes here. They're, like, barreling jacks, small. They're, right, right, yeah, right, people right. just but do weird stuff. Here's our, how I worked it out. So like, 43 big blinds in the mid, right? And to call, it's going to be 13. It's about break even with the bounty. It gives you just enough of an edge, probably. Dude, what on earth is this guy checking back the river for? Oh, I was just about to say something. Is. So 13. He's worried about quads, lol. 56. I'm offered 23% <laughs> pot odds here. Right? And my flush is going to happen, what, roughly 20%? 18-ish. Yep. And then if your 18. ace is good, you got another. You're like 21% and then your bounty. And, and that's then, assuming that you're always behind. Like, does he ever have queen jack of hearts that he just doesn't know how to play? Does he ever have pocket nines that he doesn't know how to play? Like, people just do goofy stuff. Does he ever have, yeah. Exactly. So I thought about it. I ran the math. I was like, oh, this is really close. Nah, 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 nah. But I made the call. Then check, check on the river. Look at this guy. Louis, I think this is super standard. And I think he missed a bunch of value by being a nit and by sizing so tiny. So... But the, the, I wasn't sure about the turn call. That's all. I want to see you, how often we raise flop. You think to check on the river standard? Or do no, 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 no. Louis play is standard. I think Louis oh. is just fine. Oh, okay. I was just wondering about the turn call. <laughs> oh, I think it's fine. If you, I, I think it's criminal to fold that turn. Even the pre-flop call, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Can we see if we're? Well, it's a pain to run it. I want to see if we raise flop with this more than you never raise flop with this because you have the nut. So if you have a hand like ace five, you get better ace to fold, right? But are you gonna get a better ace than ace ten to fold here? Like yeah, it's jack and ace queen. Yeah, but that's so thin, right? Whereas but when you have ace five, doesn't have Danny. When you have ace five or ace four. 
You're looking at A6, A7, A8, A9, A10, A Jack, A Queen. There's a bunch that you could, you know. So the ratio is better for you. That's how it works. You don't. Yeah, have I wouldn't if, he, if he's squeezing A8, if he's squeezing A6, you know, I don't know. He should be squeezing some of those. This guy's got a, a V pip of 14 though. Like this guy's a nit, man. Like. I know I did that against the nip, but I thought I had yeah, yeah, VPIP of 14 is an important detail. Yeah. Yeah, this this true. is a fold on the turn in my mind. Like if oh. I this guy's playing check on the river, like yeah, he's getting a tag. Like Sweet this range from a, a nit from the big blind versus two players is like Queens plus ace king. It's so the nuts, right? Fold. Can... Just fold. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot for watching. Hold on, let me can I share one hand. I thought it was interesting. Yeah. That's real fast. No, no, you Wait, if you call turn and get there, are you jamming donk jamming river? Uh yeah. I think so. yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's only got yeah, 13 behind. Cool. You're gonna be torching if you check to admit in position when he's got position. All right, cool. I wanted to confirm. Right. This is this will be quick. What do we do here? uh i think you can probably it a 10 high dry you can probably bet out of position i do a lot of checking okay i don't i don't know the answer for 100 percent though i think i check this i'm thinking it's a check either way when he says he's thinking he's looking the answer up hold on yep my <laughs> takes a long thought i never I would generally that. bet here because I don't know what to do when I face a bet. So I'll be I know the check raising, I might check calling. The 10 is good for us, then the 5 and the deuce don't connect with his range very much, so it's going to want us to bet a fair amount. But I, I, like the, so. I like the answer, Pete. Um, And Danny, you definitely have to continue versus small bet. Yeah. Big bet, you just fold. Small bet, you just call. I don't think... If you had the suited one, maybe we do some check raising. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd be more inclined good. to check raise with a higher equity hand, like King Jack of Diamonds or King Jack of Hearts. What size? Yeah, and then we have some clean barrels. Did you have to restart GTO Wizard, Louie? Uh, if so he bets 55%. two, we make it six and a half or seven, yeah. right? What size, Peter? Uh, I would be leading for about 55% here. So like 3.8, 4. So so I think it's why a why size up this board's kind of dry, right? There's like really no draws that hit his range that that well. I'll, I'll mm -hmm. use a Peter principle here to explain why it's a check. Do you get a better king to fold? Probably not. Well, you want to keep the worst kings in, right, and the worst Jackson, right? Mm -hmm. But if you hit the turn, so I think it's a check, and I'm, I did not look it up. Why? Why would? Why would I curious? Why he likes a bigger size? I agree with you, Ken. I don't think you need a bigger size. Like, I think a, a small bet is going to be extremely no. efficient. No, 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 no. You need when, to be polar here. On when you're side. betting from out of position, you're going to be polar by nature, you're and your hand that you're representing is going to be uh, more vulnerable to him floating over cards. So you're going to want to generate fold equity. So I'm okay. going to bet fifty-five percent. So looking at it now, I realize I my jacks are gonna to want to go bigger, probably, right? Yeah, yeah this is never a small ah. bet. It's either a check or a bet big. I'm with Peter. So and yeah, I, also I this opponent, I have him is a bit splashy. A bit splashy and passive. Goes on goes almost pot. What's going on now? Wow, can't really see my screen. No, no, you can't see your no, screen. No, you're, you're sharing the. Uh, oh, I thought you're sharing that. Whole, the I thought I shared my whole screen. No, we're just nope. seeing the um, replayer. So it bets. It bet. It likes. Uh, first of all, it almost never checks. Fifteen percent checks, um, yep. and it likes. Uh, Three point eight is like twenty eight percent of the time, and then. Uh, 5.75 and the 6.8 is like 56%. Yeah, Love that's it. Wow. 
So I yeah, I went too small. Before. I went too small for the small bet, but it really does like the big bet. Now, after you said that, I thought about it more. I forgot about the the jack. Probably is the driving factor. What's the range strategy here? So it checks fifteen percent and bets the rest, mostly uh, about 80, 80 some percent. Well. Oh. Uh, and then I played the rest fine. So I was just distraught. I, I couldn't figure out why I wanted to bet big on the flop until just now. Yeah. And then so I, you don't have a um you don't have an asymmetric range post flop where you could look at a situation where you're covered, right? No, uh, I put I just uploaded it in GTO Wizard. Yeah, this is gonna be equilateral, and I mean it's not gonna matter a lot this time. See, happens. I've been I've been doing some research lately and it matters. Um, okay. it just matters in ways that I, it, it changes some of this stuff. Like, um, it was a mistake that I found out that I was doing that everyone does apparently is like the, the equal stack stuff isn't always representative in like these asymmetric ranges. Like when you're covered or you're covering plays kind of a, a bigger role in some of these post flop betting schematics or situations. I don't know how I'm guessing right now. So like, it could be completely fine. And then it like this 60 some percent of the time and then just jammed forever. forever. So, just I mean, out of curiosity was, here. The rest That's of that was fine. It was just a flop that I really, I was kind of like, when I looked, I'm like, why am I betting so big on this flop? I just didn't, it didn't um, click in my head last night. I'm going to put it into, um, since well, we're here, well, I'm going to throw it in What were your HUD stats on this player? What's this? What were your HUD stats on him? Uh, he's um, a bit of a station. Yeah, that's what I, I had him as a station, too. And your conclusion of why to do the bigger bet is that your King Jack wants to play as if it's Jack Jack or if it, as if it's King King? Is that I it? imagine. That's but what I'm thinking. If he's a station, Two overs. If, he's, if he's a station, aren't we better checking this? Well, his fault to see bet is a bit like he's... Okay, I only have I don't have a lot of hands here, so I don't know. But like, I don't have a ton of hands on him either. A bit high. Um, so low jack cut off. Uh, he's a station potting. It seems pretty good. Actually, the problem with this is oh, I only I'm not going to be a, I'm not going to be able to do this right now. I need I would need to generate like. A, I only had him folding the c bets twenty five percent. Mm. How many here? And I have him getting to the river 70% of the time. I mean, he folded river and the river, river was a brick. So 